This video shows how to put a web link inside of a, a Blackboard class. So again, let's just web link is a link to any URL to you know, send uh, kids off to a website you want them to visit. So first things, make sure edit mode is on, and then go to the build content submenu, and insert, you know, select web link. The form pops up, you give the link a name, and for this example, I'll just use the FCPS website. So I'll name the link FCPS Public Web Site. Usually I just paste in the URLs, but since I know this one very well, it's http colon slash slash www.fcps.edu. You could give it a description if you want, seeing the normal Blackboard text editor. If you wanted to attach a file to this, you could. The web link options, I always select open in a new window, yes. If you se select no, it would open within a frame within Blackboard, so it would kind of be displayed inside the Blackboard frame. I like having the website launch in its own fresh tab. And then your standard permit users to view content, yes, no, and then select date and time, display after, display until, where you can have it automatically turn on or turn off. So submit. And just that easy, there is a link. Student clicks it and it goes to the website that we have sent them to. One more thing, uh, really anything with a URL you can link to. So for example, a Google Doc has its own unique URL. So I've got a, if I have a Google Doc I want to share in my course, I could do the same thing, build content, web link, I'll name it link to a Google Doc. And I have a Google Doc open that I'm going to share. I'll copy the URL, Control C. I come over here, Control V. It's pasted in. I could give it a description, attach files, and submit. And there's a link to a Google Doc. And so remember, that link will work for your students. Uh, if the student is not signed into G Suite for Education, they'll get the login screen for you know, fcpsschools.net and they'll have to log in. So that link will work for students, but it will not for parents because parents do not have G Suite accounts. What I could do to let parents know what's going on, of course I could edit, write a description to let them know what the doc is, but another thing I could do in Google is just f download the file as a PDF there it is okay so it is I get that pop-up if I'm downloading things from home on my work computer so that is saved in my downloads folder just confirmed uh, downloads ISD video tools that's the name of it okay so I could in this link description, let me go ahead and edit it. It'd be a good form to write a description, but I could also just come down here and attach a PDF version. It's in my downloads folder. That's it right there. And so while my students can click the link and go to the Google Doc, my parents could see a read-only version attached as a PDF. So we did two, th two examples, linking to a website, linking to a Google Doc.